Hey guys, it's Pete Hink with a quick seagrass update. I said I'll do one every month. It's been a month. I've been out of town for a while and uh, conditions haven't been that well, but I did get a little window. I was able to get out there. I only hit two spots to check for seagrass and the uh, weather deteriorated to the point where I had to uh, basically duck into some mangroves and do a little snow fishing, which wasn't a bad option. But the first spot was Black Point. That area there, I did see quite a bit of seagrass. Most of it was shoal grass. And I see a little bit of this Johnson seagrass, which is a thicker blade grass. And uh, when I went out there last month, I didn't measure it. I think most of the seagrass was two, maybe three inches of the uh, shoal grass. The, today, or the other day when I was out, you're looking at basically six inches. So it has at least doubled in length. And the uh, Johnson seagrass is quite a bit longer, maybe one inch, inch and a half coming off the bottom. And I heard that there were manatees grazing in that area, so I was kind of curious to see how it looked. Did the manatees graze that area out? And no, no, by no means. Um, there was lots of seagrass there. And as the weather turned, I did go into a cove and uh, the manatees were there. It was about a herd of, uh, I'd say six or seven manatees eating seagrass. And um, but there still seem to be plenty of seagrass. They're not wiping it out as some people say the manatees uh, uh, took care, you know, killed off the seagrass or ate it all. Now, now this is what I saw. It's uh, Black Point in an area I call my trout spot because back when the seagrass was thick and lush, you just catch trout there all day long. Its water is actually cleaner than it was at Black Point, even though it's closer to the boat ramp. And uh, I'm going to keep an eye on that area too, and hopefully it'll return to what it was. So, um, why is the seagrass growing so good right now? It's summer season. Seagrass are just like trees; they grow real good in the summertime. Wintertime, they'll die off, and uh, you know, then it restarts in the spring. But one thing that does decimate it is when we have a lot of water discharges from inlands coming out. Could it be the fresh water? Eh, maybe so. I think it has more to do with the herbicides that they spray in the canals, the weed killers and stuff to kill the weeds. I'm not a big opponent of that. I mean, when is po putting poison in our water ever a good idea? You know, these water, these plants that they're uh, spraying actually purify the water. They clean the water. So there's another video that I'll be talking about in more detail on another at, at another time. But uh, this is a quick update. Things look good. I'm seeing a lot more seagrass, a lot taller. And uh, like I say, I wish I had more to tell you, but this was, turned out to be a very short trip. I just want to get you a little update and uh, there'll be more coming. So this is Pete Hink. Till next time, we'll see you.